Did anybody see my screen? Yes. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Stocks 101, Stocks Explained to Beginners, episode 18, all about cryptocurrency this week. My name is yeah. Brian Reich, uh, makestocksfun.com. If you want a copy of today's seminar, everything's updated on Make Stocks Fun website. My name is Brian Reich. I'm a successful stock investor. My goal is to become a stock millionaire. In these sessions, I want to pass on my knowledge of wins and losses so you can enjoy the success I have today. In last uh, week's interesting episode, we discussed fire your financial advisor. We discussed key concepts and why you can do investing your sp yourself, especially if you're not receiving the returns that they promised. With books and the help of our resources, our website, you can invest in stocks on your own. Has anybody here invested in cryptocurrency? No. A little. A little, really? And how, how did that work out? Uh, broke even, maybe about. Okay. How long ago was that? It, it was just um, about last year to about early this year is when I moved it. Oh, okay. But I was just trying it out. Did you have a lot of resources or you, you had like a, a person you could trust that? Got, got yeah, you. Okay. Very cool. That's why I didn't invest too much, just a little. Yeah, and that's the way that I would approach it. Quote of the week, uh, make the money. Don't let the money make you. Change the game. Uh, don't let the game change you. Funny quote, selling your winners and holding your losers is like cutting the flowers and watering the weeds. Peter Lynch, uh, cryptocurrencies can you make 20K a week. Cryptocurrency was invented due to the bank crash in 2008. People were furious and corrupt bankers and mortgage lenders were rewarded for dubious system of prime subloans, which was a direct effect of the Clinton administration taking out the Glass-Siegel Act, which made mortgage notes available to investors. It was 2004 and I was actively looking for my first investment real estate property and what we noticed right away is um, anytime we were shopping for a duplex, uh, the property was already sold by the time uh, we got to the property. So the sign was up and the property was already sold. They couldn't even put up the sign fast enough, it seemed like. So that was like what it was like when I was first looking at my duplex. I just shook my head and said, you know, is it this hard to buy one? And the shifts had started, and in the following two years, the application process for buying a home would be thrown out the window. No job, mm -hmm. who cares? You, you, who cares if you can afford this home? No credit, who cares? No, uh, it doesn't really Ninja. matter. Ninja. We will give you this mortgage and even a second line of credit so you can furnish your debt rid in place, even if you have no job. I had a full intent on moving to Phoenix in 2005, but a line of wannabe homeowners in the real estate market flipped upside down delayed my dreams. This is a story that started the Great Recession and home meltdown of 2008. People were fed up with the almighty dollar and wanted a change from the system. The system was corrupt and deregulation and mortgage loan officers were getting bonuses for writing more loans. This is why Bitcoin was invented, so people could get away from the dollar and a tax. They wanted to stay anonymous and buy as they please without Uncle Sam's involvement. It was 2012. Can I stop you there? Yeah. It, Bitcoin to get away from the tax. How is the government not involved in everything? How are you not taxed on this? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, they'll they'll catch up. Believe me. <laughs> gotcha. We thought that way with Amazon too, right? You know, all the people, yeah. and then Trump. Me, you know, we got taxed a little bit before Trump, and then Trump added to it from there on. So yeah, it'll catch up. Yeah. I'm definitely confident on that one. It was 2012, I had just finished watching The Social Network, aka Facebook movie, and when the movie finished, I wondered what the Winklevoss twins were going to do with all their awarded legal money for Zuckerberg's <laughs> infringement. I followed the rabbit hole that led me to Bitcoin. I knew that they wanted to create something to change this world, and since they had Facebook, there was an opportunity for something else that would be revolutionary. 
Bitcoin was sats on a dollar in 2012 and I was ready to load up 500 to $1,500. And I went to the bank and they just, uh, you know, rolled their shoulders and looked at me like they didn't know what the heck I was talking about. So I had to research it and the more research I did, then I found out you, had, you need a high density card because back then you couldn't buy it, you had to mine it. And that's true of today too, they still have devices where you can mine for bitcoins it's just the algorithms algorithms become more complex as we go on so as a, as this happened you know I, I became frustrated i didn't understand and i just felt like the, the door was being shut on me so i just moved on my way um why do you guys feel like bitcoin is in play obvious it's obvious to me you know that um it's increasing in popularity as we go on. I feel, I feel like uh, Brian. I feel like uh, it's 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 here to stay, and because currency needs, um, you know, they they can't have that monopoly, so you have to have options. And it's already, it's already an option at most places. You can, it, it'll ask you, can you want to pay with, uh, with uh, you know, cryptocurrency or you want to pay with a credit card. Uh, I've seen that already on the line. And so I, I believe it's going to be here to stay. Um, I wish I had a bunch of money to invest in it. I did buy a hundred bucks. I have not, and this was like three years ago. I have not even been able to get back on uh, Coinbase. But I, the last time I checked, I hadn't lost anything. Okay. You know, not anything significant. It's just a few bucks like the other guy said. So I I really believe it's here to stay. I really do. I yeah. feel like it's just going to be another way of doing things because there's just too many people that are dissatisfied with the way, uh, you know, the way money, it's just like, it's just like I never thought the Catholic Church would be gone. <laughs> you know, for me, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it's having these options that are so beautiful. That's some you good point. Feel free. Do you feel like oh, Bitcoin I'm... could be the standard for global currency? I didn't understand you. You're breaking up. Do you feel like Bitcoin could be the standard for global currency? No, it won't be like, you know, there will always be. Because we've got old timers, uh, new timers, and we've got a generation, a certain group of people. Not, it's almost like marijuana. Did you ever think marijuana was going to be legal? I no. did. I actually did. When, I, I, well, I did think when that. When I was, I'm older than you, right. so I never thought, I'm 66. I never thought, and now all my kids smoke it, they go <laughs> buy it, it's all. <laughs> You know, it's all, it's the same thing. It's just, you gotta, you know, you can't just go buy a joint from off the street. It's a good idea to invest in like Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I actually do feel like Bitcoin could become a standard if the right events took place. And I don't know if that's like what the elites will push for someday. But as you know, you go to Whole Foods and you know, in their express lanes or self-checkout lane, you know, when you can't use cash anymore for whatever reason, you know, I guess they accept your palm. They somehow read your palm and that equates to how they get paid. But I mean, it's you, everything is becoming faster, right? Right. And, and they pull out your wallet and get dollar bills going, you know, I mean, it does take time. <laughs> But, you know, and you multiply that by, you know, customers waiting in line, I guess, it, you know, it does make sense that way. And I don't know if it comes like where you're, I think there's a grocery store somewhere in Europe. I think you just walk through the door and they automatically 
you're already kind of checking out. You know. Well, they have here. They have Amazon stores out right now. They have you that. Go in there, you got you go in there and you grab something, you walk out, it just debits your Amazon card. Oh. Uh, very yeah i know they have one on the the arizona mills i know one yeah there's a store there and scottsdale fashion center has one right let me ask this what will, what will the digital dollar do to bitcoin and you know when when bitcoin came out there was also dogecoin which was made as a farce that's where my leeriness is but they say that bitcoin is used by the criminal underworld so i thought maybe they do something to take it down. That, that's my leeriness. You're right, and that's mine too, because you're anonymous. Where and yes. the thing that scares me is, I had a really good friend, and he was studying to be a computer scientist, and that was right when the internet came out, and he was all over DOS and all the different programs, Java, yes. you name it, C, C++, all that. He came over, and he didn't trust his girlfriend, so he literally went on my internet and showed me how he could track her like where she would go on different internet sites and her bank yeah. account. And right there, I was just scared out of my mind. And we're talking 95. I mean, I don't even know like what, what's around today, but I'm sure, you know, it just intensifies. And, and all these people, they know this system and, and I don't. And that's why I've stayed out at this point. I was excited about doing this episode because you just see the popularity and there might be a time where, you know, I'm, I might have interest in it, but, um, you know, as, as our world changes, I, I just like to adapt and, and know where we're headed. Does that make sense? Well, I, I've got people who come to me and say, hey, there's a good node tonight, and you buy Bitcoin for a short period of time, and the node will take care of it, and you make a lot of money. And I'm thinking, okay, you make a lot of money, and where's the tax? It's a short-term, you know, capital gains, but there's no tax on the what? Something's very screwy. That's that's why I want to know all I can know about Bitcoin. Exactly. I'm with you. You know, and that, uh, and like you see, this, this is what I do know. Uh, I know that 5G. You see more towers here in Arizona. They're here all yeah. the time. They're disguising themselves as palm trees and, and different oh, things yeah. like oh, yeah. that. But I, I take note of where they are and what's going on. You know, in my own neighborhood, they chopped down this stop sign, uh, street sign, and then they remodified it so that it shot up the towers on the top and painted it yep. all the same colors so, you know, you wouldn't, it wouldn't stand out as much. But, you know, these 5Gs, and, and the whole point is, you know, speed. If you go to the 60s, 70s, one thing is, is it continue to increase is the speed of the whole process. Um, yep. And then you have AI, you know, everyone knows about chat, GD, GPT, yeah. that's 30% of searches are, and this is just relatively new. It's kind of scary how it's taken over Google. It kind of reminds me of Kmart in the 80s, just kind of watching Walmart in their backyard, just being like, eh, I don't think I have to worry about this, but I could see like the AI just, if Google doesn't like start owning some of this, I could see Google just being a dinosaur here and soon, you know, maybe another year oh, or two. Yeah. Definitely. It's that that whole thing is just powerful, and I, I don't even do the twenty dollars a month. I don't even know what you get if you did. You know, maybe that's a seminar that I'll do here in a few weeks. Just uh, maybe I'll pay the twenty dollars, so you can see what what all it can do. It, it, this stuff I'm is just very Google, interesting. I'm and really done with Google. I don't use Google anymore. Yeah, I there, don't. I never liked so it. I don't trust those. I use yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't really trust those guys. But yeah, but. Um, yeah, the future of blockchain technology, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so basically, we can't talk about Bitcoin without bringing up blockchain. Blockchain is a type of shared database. Blockchain stored the data and blocks linked together. The future of blockchain, the technology holds significant promise and is likely to continue evolving in various ways. Scalability has more applications and users adapt the blockchain. There is a growing need to improve transaction throughput and reduce latency. Let's name a few. So basically you got uh, JP Morgan Chase, you know, they have their own blockchain platform called Quorium. Walmart utilizes blockchain for tracking food supply chains. Amazon filed for blockchain related patents, maybe exploring blockchain for supply chain and other applications. And Dubai found interesting, uh, aims to become a blockchain powered city. 
So mm -hmm. yeah, so in Dubai, you know how advanced they are. So that's one one of the areas that I want to research and find out <clears> more about. Um, obviously, the privacy and confidentiality, enhancing privacy and confidentiality on public blockchains is a priority. Technologies like zero knowledge, proofs, and confidential transactions are being integrated into various blockchain platforms to protect sensitive data while still benefiting from the security and transparency of the blockchain. Uh, NFTs, I don't know, it, tokens, uh, does anybody know of it? Have you bought any tokens or NFTs or know of? Of anybody that has, I saw one at an art museum. Really? Nice. Yeah. Okay. They were just on display. Well, I guess the person made NFT art, and it was like a there was like a little theater room, and it was just like very uh, psychedelic, but it was very art as well. Okay. Uh, this was in. Um, I think this is actually here in uh, St. Petersburg at the Dollar Museum. Okay. And it was a pretty big display or just a couple pieces? Uh, it was like a movie. Like you went into like a movie theater and um, it was kind of weird. I don't know how it works, mm -hmm. um, but I guess it's like an art form. Okay. Yeah, so basically here, I just brought up a couple examples. These are the Coca-Cola NFTs. It's really cool. I mean, they're a little guy with uh, like that um, lizard, like a uh, snow jacket on. And then you have a uh, McDonald's. And and I was looking at like, I love my logo and for my website, I was thinking about making him like NFT and what that would take for me to do that. And it was fairly easy. There's some websites I had to sign on to and things like that. But I found out for me to get the NFT going, I had to be involved in tokens. That's the only way that to, to complete that process. So it's something I still will need to look into. But yeah, like I said, you know, I do have an interest because you know this stuff is getting more popular as we go on. Uh, blockchain and the IoT, the integration of blockchain technology with Internet of Things has potential to secure and streamline various. We talked about this in a couple of different episodes uh, a couple weeks ago. And you know, we talked about like how your smart refrigerator would just know you're out of eggs and it'd be able to order those, you know, via Amazon or what have you, without you having to, to lift a finger. And this is part of the technology we're talking about due to the blockchain to allow that to happen. And the other things like would be wearable devices, autonomous driving, agriculture and smart farming, um, industrial disaster management. Even uh, the smart grids, I looked at like even utilities might start utilizing it as we discussed, you know, to buy what's going to make, you know, maybe they're, they're going to be the, like the first city that's fully run by it. So it's going to get pretty intense. Um, regulation compliance with blockchain adapts and grows. Governments and regulatory bodies are likely to develop clear frameworks for blockchain and cryptocurrencies. All these regulations evolve and significantly impact the technology's future. Remember that blockchain space is dynamic and subject to rapid change. Various types of cryptocurrencies, you know, Bitcoin obviously is the most infamous of them all. Uh, Litecoin and Filecoin is a couple other ones. There are just a few examples. Uh, I think there's literally hundreds and maybe if we look under a microscope, we could probably find thousands of them. You know, there are probably some that just come up out of the woodwork. Uh, tokens are created and operate uh, on other blockchains using their technology and infrastructure. The stocks that involve Bitcoin, the ones I'm familiar with are Coin, like Coinbase Global, NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, uh, PayPal Holdings, there's a couple, and Square, and out of all of them, I, I own Square. And the best way to invest Invest in Bitcoin. Invest in Bitcoin can be a profitable endeavor, but it also comes with risk. Here are steps to consider if you're interested in Bitcoin. Educate yourself. Analyze the risk man and management of it. Uh, recently, the U.S. government has over uh, acquired $5 billion in Bitcoin that was seized from illegal operations. That was kind of interesting when I was researching. Um, just make sure you, you know, secure your investment. Beware of the scams. 
that are out there. You know, these people know a lot more than what we do, and it's like the sharks just eating up the minnows. You know, they're into it for the almighty dollar, and it's easy to get suckered in when they talk a big game of how you can make 20 grand a week or even in a day. And I've been in Instagram this last week, you know, getting more followers, and <laughs> you wouldn't believe all the like cryptocurrency stuff I get hit up with in my inbox. It's just unbelievable. And essential to carefully consider, you know, the downsides, conduct their own research before investing and using cryptocurrencies. You know, they can offer opportunities, but also come with significant risk. Uh, next week, we'll dive in, you know, how to invest 500, grow to 5,000 through the stock market. Please join us next week because it'll be something you don't want to miss, you know, and stay tuned for their website because, you know, this is just a 20 minute episode, but, you know, Bitcoin, We'll still be on my radar and we'll dive in and you know my website will be more of a resource to get you know all the blogs and all the current data so you'll be well informed does that sound good definitely awesome yeah. cool yeah. well i appreciate you guys uh being a part of this episode and uh we'll look forward to next week thank you enjoy your weekend thank you, Thanks, thank you guys bye